Welcome to our podcast, where we explore fascinating stories and ideas from various fields. In this episode, we uncover an exciting innovation, one that enables scientists to produce hydrogen fuel from dirty water and how it works. Scientists have invented a breakthrough device that can not only clean dirty water and make it consumable, but can also generate hydrogen fuel from it, thus solving two problems at once, the lack of energy and the lack of clean drinking water. It can change the lives of millions of people who live off limited resources with no access to clean water and clean energy. As per the scientists behind the machine, it is based on the photosynthesis process in plants, where they turn light into food. The older version of the same device required clean water to operate, making it unviable for areas with no clean water resources. But the new model is simply miraculous. Bringing together solar fuels production and water purification in a single device is tricky, said Shannon Porn Rungroj from the University of Cambridge. Solar-driven water splitting, where water molecules are broken down into hydrogen and oxygen, need to start with totally pure water because any contaminants can poison the catalyst or cause unwanted chemical side reactions, he added. The system utilizes a carbon mesh to absorb light and heat generating water vapor from which hydrogen is generated by a photocatalyst. This carbon mesh also repels water, allowing the system to float and protect important components from water damage. Moreover, this device captures a greater amount of solar energy compared to previous models as it utilizes a wider spectrum of light. A white layer on the top absorbs UV rays, while the remaining light is used to vaporize the water. The researchers emphasize that this system is simple to manufacture and effective in treating highly polluted water. Although currently a proof of concept, they believe it holds promise for achieving a sustainable future. The climate crisis and issues around pollution and health are closely related, and developing an approach that could help address both would be a game-changer for so many people, said Cambridge's Erwin Reisner, who led the work. Thanks for tuning in to this incredible story. If this episode resonated with you, don't forget to hit the like and subscribe button for more captivating stories to come. Stay tuned.